Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Michelle with Prettiest Problem. And today I wanted to come to you with a video about how to become motivated to actually make a change. So, as you know, I recently lost 35 pounds. Thanks, guys. Um, and so I just have been feeling like super, super inspired lately. And so I just been feeling like sharing the inspiration, motivation. I've struggled with my weight literally my whole life. So I just feel like now that I'm in this like zone, I feel inspired to share and let other people know that it is possible, it can be done. Hopefully help somebody and encourage somebody to step outside of their comfort zone and just really make a difference in their life because it is possible. So today I wanted to share some tips on how to become motivated. Sometimes it's hard to even begin because it just feels so overwhelming. We feel like we have a long way to go, but honestly, there's a way to start. And so I'm gonna give you a few pointers and feel free to share any pointers that you have in the comment section below. Before I do begin, please don't forget to subscribe, thumbs up this video, and um, yeah, share a comment below. If you are on a fitness journey, how do you stay motivated? So I think that the first thing in becoming motivated to make a change is to identify what is holding you back. There could be a lot of things holding you back from even beginning the journey. I think my main issue was time. You know, before I was able to actually get to the gym, it was just time. Like, where am I gonna find the time? I have so much stuff, I'm juggling a family, I have a nine to five, I have a business on the side. So a lot of times it's hard to find the time to actually make a difference. Another problem could be just energy, your energy level. Maybe you just don't feel like it, you know? Maybe it's a laziness thing. You don't feel encouraged physically to get up and do something. And that could be something that's holding you back. Another thing that could be stopping you is maybe you did go to the gym and you realized the next day that you were a little bit sore or you know you just weren't feeling a hundred percent you were kind of limping around because your legs were hurting so that could be holding you back from going back to the gym you know like you're in pain so you don't want to continue being in pain and that's definitely understandable another very common reason that holds you back from being motivated is your hair okay girl like i get it you see what I have resorted to. I'm always Miss Queen, different hairstyles, doing different things. But at the end of the day, it was like, okay, my hair is just taking too much time to try to readjust, fix, and everything. So I was like, you know what? Screw it. I'm going to do the natural thing. I'm going to figure out how to make it work. I mean, I am by no means a natural hairstylist, but this is what I'm working with. So either you're gonna try to be fly and cute and do your hair every day, or you're gonna be serious about your goals and say the hell with your hair, you know? And not even saying the hell with your hair, but we're gonna get into that. So now that we've identified some setbacks for why you may not be motivated, it may be a little bit easier for you to move past them now that you have identified them. Laziness may just be something that you are struggling with we all struggle with laziness okay sometimes i just don't feel like doing it i don't feel like getting up i get it but once you know that that's the problem it becomes a mental thing so this is one thing that i really really wanted to touch on this whole journey i'm sorry if my if my things are making noise it's windy out here it's about to pour down rain and so i gotta hurt this up but one of the things that i've realized with this whole journey and i'm gonna get into it in videos in the future is that most of this is mental just flat out you have to kind of find yourself in a mental space to be able to push forward and you know continue your journey or keep it up because honestly one of the hardest parts of the journey is consistency i hope it doesn't start raining because that's in my makeup to sit up here and, and do this video okay how are we going to move past all of these setbacks okay it's getting windy now for real so the first thing you have to do is find a goal. You have to have some type of goal that you are working towards. I've like aimlessly went going to the gym just because I felt like it was the right thing to do, but I, didn't, I wasn't pushing towards anything. Once you get something in your head that you're pushing towards, it's, it goes back to the mental space. It gives you a reason to push harder, continue going, 
get up when you don't feel like getting up when you're lazy or you you know you're in pain you can tell yourself i have this goal i want i'm trying to meet this goal get up and do what you got to do so finding a goal i feel like is the first step to gaining motivation the second thing that i think is important is or that has helped me is to find some type of inspiration if you're not an active and naturally active person and you haven't been active your whole life sometimes you don't realize that being active is actually attainable so my inspiration or things that i found inspiration in literally came from people who did makeup like i did that got on their fitness journey and i started watching their fitness journey i seen their transformation and they inspired me to start my own fitness journey and feel like you know what this is something that i can do like i saw somebody actually doing it and it inspired me because it's like okay i can see myself in that person find some type of inspiration what is it is there somebody that you want to look like is there somebody who you admire that is on this this fitness journey are there posts online that you see and just kind of encourages you sometimes i watch videos of people working out and it just inspires me and it gives me a reason to move so find some type of inspiration another helpful point and this goes back to it's a mental space is saying some type of daily mantra sometimes we just don't believe in ourselves we just don't believe that it is possible the goal is it's obtainable or that we're even worthy to have that so i feel like when you start talking to yourself and telling yourself that you are worthy and that you can do it daily you have to tell yourself daily because we've been conditioned a lot of people me included to feel like this is just what life is. This is just how it's gonna be. But once you start feeding yourself different information and telling yourself that you can do it, you'll be surprised that you start believing yourself that you can do it. Again, it goes back to the mental space and I've learned that through this past 12 weeks and hopefully continuing on for a lifetime. I call it daily mantras, but just honestly having conversations with yourself and letting yourself know that you can do it, you're worthy constantly feeding yourself positivity feeding yourself you can do it will definitely help you to get over that hurdle of not having any motivation another thing and it's starting to rain so i need to hurry up another thing is to get in the zone i called it in the zone and in the zone means that you are laser focused on what you need to do what you want to do Getting in the zone is so important. My zone, honestly, is when I'm in the gym, I have my headphones on by myself, I'm listening to music that is pumping me up, inspiring me, motivating me, and I feel powerful. I feel like I can accomplish anything. And it really depends on what you're feeding yourself, what type of music you're, you're feeding yourself. You have to jam out, and that's what I call getting in the zone. So whatever you can find that makes you feel powerful, makes you feel strong, get in that zone and find a reason to get back to that zone every time i go to the gym that's what i look forward to i look forward to my showers after the gym i look forward to just in my head telling myself that everything that i'm doing is worth it it's a mental space it is all mental so you have to find ways to get into those mental spaces any way you can get into that zone get there and you'll see that it's easier to get yourself into that zone once you figure out what your zone is another way to get motivation to go to the gym or to make a lifestyle change is to somehow find enjoyment in it sorry about that bird i'm gonna just keep going because it's about to start raining but honestly sometimes it just seems like going to the gym is just not the thing that you want to do you can be doing so many other things you're so busy but once you start going and you figure out that going to the gym is actually enjoyable or you find some type of enjoyment in going to the gym in making me time or spending time with yourself it's okay to spend time with yourself and it's okay that your time can be at the gym and i feel like once you find enjoyment in it you'll yearn to go more and more so right now i'm in a place where i enjoy going to the gym i enjoy sweating i enjoy being in pain not enjoy I wouldn't say enjoy being in pain but mentally I know when I'm in pain that something is working so I'm enjoying the process and you have to find a way to psych yourself out mentally I wish this bird would shut up psych yourself out mentally to where you like it to where you actually enjoy it and it's possible trust me it is possible you have to find what you enjoy doing now I have two quick things that I found that I need to avoid or 
that may just not be the best for my journey. Everybody's journey is personal to you. So you have to tailor this to you. So the first thing that I suggest avoiding is a workout partner. Some people feel like their workout partner is going to motivate you, is going to inspire you, is going to make you go to the gym when you don't feel like going to the gym. And that may be true. Sometimes that could possibly be true. However, it's bad to have some type of interdependency in your fitness journey because it is yours. And also, sometimes both of y'all are not going to feel like going. It's just bad to depend on somebody for your goals. You have to depend on you. You have to figure out a way for yourself to get yourself up and motivated. So I would avoid workout partners. They're good. And if you have a friend that goes to the same gym as you, that, you know, y'all take the same classes, that's great. Like having a community is a great thing. I would avoid a workout partner because then you become dependent on that partner or that partner becomes dependent on you and their downfall may turn out to be your downfall. And nine times out of 10, y'all not going to be on the same page all the time. So you going to be your workout partner, you, your headphones and whatever it is that you need to do, you be your own workout partner and go from there. That's just my suggestion. Last thing I want you to avoid is excuses. Okay. We all got them. Everybody got them for every single thing. And it's very easy said, I get it because trust me. Okay. I get it. But recognize when you make an, an excuse recognize that you just may not feel like going and that's okay you don't have to go every single day if you're not serena williams in your first month it's okay but recognize when you're making excuses for things that you could be doing better and nip it in the bud the thunder is my cue so i got to go i hope y'all enjoyed this video i really want to bring more videos like this hopefully these are helpful i just want to share my own experiences i'm trying to continue my healthy lifestyle and i really want to make a change for good i want to show my children that it's possible to live healthy and happy and i love being able to inspire and motivate people i've had so many inboxes from people just you know asking questions and things like that so hopefully i can continue on with this fitness series and bring some maybe needed inspiration or motivation or help to anybody who may need it because I know I need help too okay so thank you guys so much for watching please don't forget to subscribe to my channel thumbs up this video share it if you found something helpful in this video and I will catch you guys in my next video bye